Daily Words of God If I were to now place some riches in front of you and ask you to choose freely, knowing that I would not condemn you, then most would choose the riches and forsake the truth. The better among you would give up the riches and reluctantly choose the truth, while those in between would seize the riches in one hand and the truth in the other. In this way, would your true colors not be self-evident? When choosing between the truth and anything to which you are loyal, you will all make such a decision, and your attitude will remain the same. Is that not so? Are there not many among you who fluctuated between right and wrong? In contests between positive and negative, black and white, you are surely aware of the choices that you made between family and God, children and God, peace and disruption, riches and poverty, status and commonness, being supported and being cast aside, and so on. Between a peaceful family and a broken one, you chose the former, and without any hesitation. Between riches and duty, you again chose the former, even lacking the will to return to shore. Between luxury and poverty, you chose the former. Between sons, daughters, wives, husbands, and me, you chose the former. And between notion and truth, you once again chose the former. Faced with all manner of your evil deeds, I have nothing short of lost my faith in you. I am absolutely astounded that your hearts are so resistant to being softened. Many years of dedication and effort has apparently brought me only resignation and your despair of me. Yet my hopes for you grow with each passing day. For my day has already been completely laid out before everyone. However, you continue to seek that which belongs to the darkness and evil and refuse to loosen your hold. As such, what will be your outcome? Have you given careful thought to this before? If you were asked to choose again, what then would be your position? Would it be the former still? Would what you give me still be disappointment and wretched sorrow? Would your hearts still be the sole bit of warmth? Would you still be unaware of what to do to comfort my heart? At this moment, what is your choice? Will you submit to my words or be weary of them? My day has been laid out before your very eyes, and what you face is a new life and new starting point. However, I must tell you that this starting point is not the beginning of past new work, but the close of the old. That is, this is the final act. I believe you will all understand what is unusual about this starting point. But one day soon, you will understand the true meaning of this starting point. So let us together walk past it and usher in the next finale. However, what I continue to be uneasy about is that when faced with injustice and justice, you always choose the former. But that is all in your past. I also hope to put out of my mind that which has happened in your past. One thing after the other, though this is very difficult to do. Yet I have very good means of accomplishing it. Let the future replace the past and allow the shadows of your past to be dispelled in exchange for your true self of today. This means I will have to trouble you to make the choice once more 
and see to whom you are loyal.